One bite can cause a lot of health problems and even kill you. And that's why it's important to take West Nile virus seriously. So far, the South Dakota Health Department confirms Beetle, Brown, Davison, and Minnehaha counties have found mosquitoes with West Nile. However, only one person in Turner County has had the virus this year. With peak season just ahead of us, Brady Mallory shows you the outlook and why you shouldn't put down the bug spray in tonight's health beat. A day at the office is a walk in the park, or woods rather, for camp counselor Lauren Sievold. I love it so much, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Sievold has been working outside at Leif Erickson Day Camp all summer. Being out here all day just doesn't even feel like I'm at work, it's just so much fun. That doesn't mean she doesn't have an important job to do, which is keep herself and her campers safe from West Nile. So we've been spraying bug spray a lot, making sure the kids are getting it on a few times a day. The state health department so far lists West Nile season as moderate with 84 predicted cases. That's way down from last year's outbreak listing with more than 150 cases. Just got a lot less virus circulating today. That could change in a few weeks. Health program coordinator Denise Patton says she's found mosquitoes in her traps that can carry the virus, but says it's been a surprisingly mild year. It's been very unusual. With all of the rain, we kind of were preparing ourselves for this crazy, crazy summer. Peak season is late August and early September, so Patton warns we are not in the clear from West Nile, a virus that can give you flu-like symptoms and can also damage your neurological system. Either through encephalitis or meningitis, and those are the ones that can really do damage and kill you. You know, so it's nothing to mess around with. As for Sievold, she says bug spray is a must this summer, so she and her campers will stay healthy so they can return here next summer. It's been such a great time. Can't wait to come back next year. With Health Beat, I'm Brady Mallory. Patton says the city continues to spray regularly. You can expect targeted sprays tonight and tomorrow. To find your spray zone on a map, we've attached a link under this story at kelloland.com.